The speed limit is 50, but cars go much faster on the Sawmill Parkway at Lawrence Street and Dobbs Ferry. And Franklin Martinez admits he was worried about that while walking across all these lanes to his doctor's appointment at the new Rivertown Square Mall. I feel pretty cautious there. I mean, there's a lot of cars driving by, so um, it was, it was kind of scary. It's hard because the cars are going by so fast. Melissa Moscoso takes the Beeline bus from Yonkers to work at the mall every day, but then she has to walk down Lawrence Street, where there's no sidewalk in some areas. Anybody can get hit if they're not really paying attention. You think it's dangerous? Yeah. There is a crosswalk at the sawmill and a button for pedestrians to push, but the walk signal only lasts seven seconds before it starts flashing yellow. Stu Hackle of the Greenberg Human Rights Advisory Committee is now pushing the developer in Westchester County to put a new bus stop in the mall that's home to upscale apartments, a movie theater, and will eventually add a hotel, grocery store, and many more employees. And it's dangerous. People should really have the right to get to work and not take their life in their hands to do so. Police confirm there haven't been any pedestrians hit since the mall opened in January, but they admit traffic is getting worse. The developers tell me they fully support adding a new bus stop here at the mall, and they even put space in for it right here. They also petitioned the county for the change, too, but say, quote, we were denied. Franklin Martinez would feel much better if the Beeline bus came all the way across the parkway. It'll make it way easier to just cross the street and way safer, too. Before anyone gets hurt. In Dobbs Ferry, Westchester County, Brian Connie Bear, CBS2 News. Now, a spokesperson for Westchester County, which runs the Beeline, tells CBS2 that they are currently reviewing the safety and practicality of placing a bus stop within Rivertown Square.